Hey guys, what's up? It's Ijevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of um, Let's Play Minecraft. Sorry for the delay, guys. Like I said, I've just been busy with the stream, but uh, today is my day off from the stream, so I'm recording. I'm going to try to get a couple of these videos done, and so we find ourselves in our uh, swamp. Um, this is where I come to kill slimes and just get mob drops in general. And I'm over here today because I needed to get dirt. Uh, I needed a lot of dirt and a lot of grass, and I've been, as you can see, this is kind of where I take it from. Um, I have been able, unable to find a mob spawner in this world yet. And now I found some, but they're, you know, pretty, pretty far away. And so the problem with that is, is that, you know, with that being said, uh, I have no way to get XP. It takes forever to get XP, so... What I'm going to do is, I was thinking about it, and I think the easiest way for me to get XP would probably be to make a animal farm and use that animal farm just to collect food. Uh, and there's our house, but we're not going to build it over here. We're going to build it over at our uh, other place. So I was thinking, because like, when I was on Hermit, when we played on Hermitcraft, we, um, we had a lot of animals in the farm at the beginning of the world at spawn. And anytime you needed level 30, you would just go there, breed the animals real fast, and you would be simply good enough to have, like, level 35, no problem. So, um, there's lots of animals in our world that I've seen. I've seen at least pals, cows, pigs, and sheep. No problem. And so what I think I'm going to do is build ourselves a uh, three of those farms, because as you can see, we've got all those animals right there. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm gonna build it over here like right here So I needed a lot of dirt so I could fill that in I'm probably gonna make it on this level or this level and I'm gonna make this all smooth um, And then we can start kind of laying out the structure that we want to build um, I think that's gonna be it. So let me go ahead and get this dirt place and I'll be back in a second Alrighty, so I have uh, filled this space in did a little bit of terraforming to sort of make this look a little bit more uniform um, and I think I like the way it looks. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to give this area some cover because this is going to be more of a permanent structure. Um, so what I'm thinking is each one will uh, start about four high, extend two, and then up one. So for example, uh, like this, and then um, we'll have to go up and so let me grab some cobblestone. So just like, uh, put like that right there, that right there. Get rid of you, and then maybe one more in total, just because I don't want this to go too far. Uh, something like that, I think. And then I'm going to do that um, probably um, upwards, maybe maybe like, maybe like one coming out of the corner, maybe like one right here, one right here. And I'm just going to do that all the way till I get to probably like right here. And so that'll give us a good starting point to work out the rest of the details. Okay, guys. So I, the way we had started off last time was actually kind of bad because where I started, it was like weird. And I placed one here. So what I did was is I kind of found the center, centered up, and then did just about every six or seven blocks. And I think it turned out much, much better. So this is going to be our covering for our animal farm. This should give us plenty of space. Um, to go all the way around. So the one thing that we need to do first is we need to cover this thing. And I'm going to do it with these um, with these half slabs. Because I really like the acacia half slabs. I like the color of them. Not to mention we're in that biome. And that color is going to blend really, really well. So, you, you. Okay, let's see what this looks like. And I'm trying to decide... We'll probably do probably do an overlay of one, something like this maybe. And so I want to go just probably all the way around this and try to get a good idea of what this is going to look like. Um, so if we're going to do an overlay of one, probably needs to curve like right here. Something like that maybe. I don't know, we can always obviously work on this later. It's not, like, the hugest deal if it looks weird at the beginning, because we can always fix it. That's one thing I've sort of learned with building in Minecraft, is that, you know, if something turns out the way you don't like it, just build your structure, and then just tinker with that structure until you feel like you're comfortable with it. 
Because tearing it down and rebuilding it multiple times will just make you hate what you're doing. So. Okay. Are we at the end? We are at the end. Okay. Uh, yeah, that I definitely like that. That looks pretty good. And then this will need to come out. So let me go ahead and get some more of this on here so we can kind of take a look at what this is going to look like. Okay, so the roofing is now finished. I think it turned out really well. I'm not sure that I like the gaps, but it could be something that we just, you know, have within the future. Uh, this looks a little uneven as well. What's that doing there anyways? I don't think that's supposed to be there. Um, so that needs to come over. I think we'll... I want to try to make that as even as possible, but... See what it looks like with that right there. It's a little better. It's a little better. The back still needs to be. How many pieces are on the back? One, two, three. So if we're gonna do the back like that, we would just need to get rid of these. Yeah, I'm trying to make this as like even as possible. One, two, three. And um I guess I'll have to put one there. I really don't want to put one there. No, I'm not going to put that there. <laughs> that can't go there. Um, maybe something like that. I don't know. It's a little bit more even now. It does look... A, it's a little bad looking, but one thing we should probably do right away is let's put some light in. See what it looks like with the light. Um, there we go. So there's a little bit of light. One thing I was thinking about doing was embedding the sides a little bit, just to give it a little bit more depth. Because I, I don't really care about the, the blocks that are on the sides, I just think it might look a little bit better like this. Something... Something like that, I think. Just like how we had it inside of our base over there. Something like that, maybe? That does look better to me. And then out here we can just get rid of that. Okay, and you, with some grass there. I think that does look a little bit better to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't like the dirt right here. We might fix that. We might just put another layer to the roof end maybe. I don't know yet, we'll see. Now, um, we do, we're do. we probably going to need more light than what we have. So what I was thinking was probably put light up here. Same with all these. That'll help us get a little bit of light shining down here. And that'll give us... I don't know how much light that's going to give during the nighttime. Um, there. And there's one thing I'm unsure about is if I'm going to cover this entire thing up um, or not. There, there, there. Okay, next up, I want to put some fencing in um, to kind of do each farm. So we're doing three animals. We're going to do sheep, we're going to do pigs, and we're going to do cows. So it kind of works out pretty well. Um, we could pretty much uh, just assign the different areas to it, you know? Um... I was actually kind of, you know what, we might actually go ahead and find bunnies and everything too, because if you think about it, each one of these pins could be a different animal. Two, three, four, five. That would be, that's four if we do bunnies. And maybe we could put horses over here for now or something as well. I don't know. We'll see. But um, let's make some fences. I'm going to make the orange acacia fences. Uh, my inner, my, uh, my stuff is so full. <gasps> Make a quick chest really quickly. And there we go. Alright, so let's make some fences if I can remember how to. Um, I want to say the fences, was it outside or inside? So it needs to be inside. That works out pretty well then. Okay, let's see what these look like. Probably right there. That works out decently well. And then we'll come down this way and make sure that's right on there. 
We'll need to make some fences as well. Maybe something like that. Just to kind of curve it in the corner. Uh, I'm not sure that I like that. Let me go make a bunch more really quickly. So yeah, this little, this is probably going to take me a little while to get to the way I like it. Um, but it'll be worth it in the end. I think it's going to look good. Actually, I need to make some more of this. Okay, that should be more than enough. And... So there'll be a fence here. A fence here. I'm gonna get rid of these really quickly. A fence there. Oh no, it's not even. Uh, oh, that one goes out one too many. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna turn out even. I was like, God, no. Why does this happen to me? There we go. And there we go. So something like that. And then, uh, you know, we're gonna have to have our path. Oh, wrong way. Um, we're gonna have our pathway coming down through here. Something like that going all the way down. Now the only thing is, how do we want to do inside of these? We've also got to think about crops as well. Um, because we're going to need to grow the crops to, you know, to breed these people. So, I mean, it, it's kind of getting there. Uh, I'm going to keep working on that for a little bit and I'll come back and when I have more. Okay, so rather than using all the spots for pins, what I think we're going to do is only use the three spots. And so what I'm going to do is I'll use, you know, cows, pigs, whatever. And then back here, I'll use this for some type of storage. Uh, maybe I'll put some, like, hay blocks or hay bales. Um, put some, like, cauldrons for, like, water, like, lined up next to each other. Uh, then we'll throw some a bunch of chests in. Like, we'll put chests in everywhere, pretty much. And um, try to make it look as useful as possible. So I think this is how I want to do it. Let me know what you guys think. The only thing I am not sure about at this very moment is whether or not I want to cover up the top part. Everything else to me looks fine because this is supposed to look natural. It's not supposed to be look like perfect looking. So let me know what you think about this. Uh, I think I'm going to continue to work on it. I'm going to go grab some stuff to make the end parts down there too. All right, folks, we are back. I am over here. I'm going to grab um, two buckets of water. And so... I went ahead and gathered up all of the surrounding animals that I could find. There's a ton of animals up on the hill, but uh, for now I'm just going to leave them there. We actually got a good collection just from the surrounding area. A bunch of pigs, a bunch of cows, a bunch of sheep. And I've been thinking, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking like, how in the world am I going to feed these animals to get enough animals to breed? And then they got to thinking, I've got a perfectly good area right in front of me right here. Why not make a, uh, you know, a field... Of stuff so I've got I when I went over to the um, <clears throat> when I went over to the swamp um, a couple times ago I collected a bunch of lily pads like almost half a, or half a stack or so we're gonna use those today as well so the first thing we need to do is we need to craft some basic fences I'm gonna use these fences instead of the acacia ones um, you you I also, if you'll notice, I also extended the pathway as well, so, um, this is the pathway to get in, and I think what we're gonna do is almost, you know what, I think it's on peaceful. I haven't, I'd say, I haven't seen a monster. Let me go grab my bed. Um, we're gonna almost make this like a little ranch, I think, is what this is gonna turn into. Now, I don't know how long it's gonna take us to complete it, but everything's gonna be a work in progress, I think, so. But I completed the pathway, and I think it looks pretty good. So, let's go ahead and sleep. I wonder if pouring water over those pathways redo them. Like, kind of like re-soil them. Let's try that out. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. First thing we need to do, though, is get rid of all of these uh, pieces of grass. Get rid of all of this. And what we're going to do is we're going to hoe all this up. And then we're going to put fences along the top here. Probably make a little archway at the entrance, too, just so we can sort of, you know, make it into sort of like a ranch area. 
So get rid of all that. We'll probably work on the grass as well, just to make sure that it's nice and you know, nice and curved the right way. There we go. And okay, so that's all taken care of. Let me grab this. And like what I'm talking about is just like this, like right here. Like why don't we just make this go? Something like that. I'm okay with that, okay with that. Like over there could be filled in. Okay, that takes care of that. Next up, we need to make... Um, let's go ahead and get our water source. Where do I want to put the water source? I'll put the water source up here for now. And I got a diamond hoe, which is... You know, never spend diamonds on a hoe, but we have to this time. Um, now, the game plan here is to try to use as least water as possible. So, what we're going to do... Um, so like one, two, three, four, like right there, and then so put one right there. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to try to get all this water in here and hold this up. And what I want to do is I'm going to try to use as less water as possible and then hide these with lily pads. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, let me go ahead. Oh, you can't place uh, beds on that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and sleep. I just realized my chat's still... Um, there we go. Okay, so let's grab our carrot. And I brought a bunch of bones because we already have a ton of seeds, but we only have one carrot. So I am going to break all of this down. And we'll do carrots on this side. And let's grow a bunch of these carrots. Just try to get, you know, try to get this thing filled in as much as possible. Um... Now, for right now, I have just put a basic fence around this, but I think in the future we'll come back through here and uh, snazzy it up a little bit. Okay. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and breed. There we go. Wait, I'm kind of curious to see how much XP that's actually going to give us. Anyways, so... Um, Everything it looks like it's good to go. Still need to put a little archway over top of this, but for the most part, this turned out really nice, I think. I really like this. Okay, I just tried a skeleton, and I hear a spile. They must be underneath of me. I'll have to go down there and put some lights in or fill that in later. Um, I want to finish this up, and I've got a bunch of stuff here. So the first chest will go over here. Um, excuse me, holy crap, you get huge burps. Some there. Might be all we need. Um, crafting table. Uh, put the, let's put the crafting table like right there. And um, okay. Let's see. Do I have anything in here I can actually put in there as use? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, one thing I do want to do though. Here I'm gonna put. Uh, just, I just need some space in my inventory. Really quickly put that away. I want to make some signs. And of course the one thing that I was going to use. There we go. Um, a little bit more. There we go. So we'll use... Um, we'll use this side. Wheat. And... Seeds. Same thing with this. It's hard to type in, like, pitch dark, by the way. <laughs> Wheat and seeds. <clears throat> Wheat and seeds. A little over here. Carrots. So we have a little bit of storage. I don't think we'll need that much, but it will be helpful to have all this uh, just for, like, food. Uh, carrots. And then we might put some other, some more chests in later, like right here or something. Because uh, when we murder these guys for food later on, we will need um, other space. And then I, I said I wanted to do a little bit of decorative stuff, so I went and got some iron blocks for my base. I want to do... Let's do like two cauldrons and put them like right here. And you and you. 
And the one thing I don't have is a lot of bone meal. Otherwise, I would grow some wheat and make some hay bales for over here. But that's just the one thing I don't have just yet. I was thinking about maybe kind of stacking some like right in here through here. So once I get some bones, um, I will... I think there's an Enderman under there. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to make sure I don't have any more wheat or any bones over here. But I think... I think we are just about finished with our little area over here. It's looking quite good, actually. It's coming together quite nicely. Uh, we'll do more detail later on. Let me see. Yeah, make sure I don't have any more bones. Uh, no bones, no wheat. No bones, no wheat. And no. Nope. Okay. So um, eventually we'll be able to build onto this and maybe kind of even take this land up and make uh, some horse stalls there. So, this is uh, looking quite good though, I like it. Oh yeah, there's tons of mobs down there. <laughs> okay guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. This is Ijip, peace out.